everybody, it's Charles Brandon from BoxingFitnessFactory.com. And we're going to talk about uh, pad work, commit work. Is it a waste of time? Uh, yes and no. And now it's all dependent on the fighter and the, uh, the trainer's mindset and what they think they're achieving with the mitts. Um, this is a great cardio workout. It's good if you want to interact a little bit with your fighter, work on a specific thing, but it's not, it's nothing, nothing beats the sparring and nothing's going to prepare you for fighting like the sparring. And it's a lot of the mitt work that I see done is not realistic. You get people throwing, you know, 10, 12 punch combinations, they get into a fight, they can't even put together, uh, you know, two punches. Um, they don't move their feet a lot of times in the mid-work, a lot of times it's just a redundant pattern. It really doesn't um, equate to their boxing style or what they do in the ring. So, um, I think the, uh, the mid-work is being overused. I mean, a lot uh, this mid-work and pad work has not, did not come into boxing until probably the, the mid to late 80s. Um, you take, you know, all the old-time fighters, you know, Sugar Ray Robinson, Wiley Regard is the greatest fighter of all time. He never hit a mitt. So just be cognizant of what you're trying to do when you're on a mitt. Don't try to be fast and just try to hear the mitts pop. Really work on your technique. Work on your, your, I mean, you work on your power in other spots, but I mean, you can work on, you know, accuracy and things like that. Hopefully a coach is having you uh, do specific, um, you know, strategy for a different guy or work on specific things, but it's not necessarily going to, you know, just because you look nice on the mist doesn't mean you're going to look nice in the ring. I could take little kids or I could take, you know, housewives with no inkling of fighting and make them look nice. So don't get carried away with how you look on the mitts. You know, like I said, we see people all the time on TV that throw 50, 60 punch combinations. They get in the ring, you know, you'll be lucky if they put one or two punches together. Um, so just, but beware of, you know, certain fighters, they know what they're doing and they're just trying to get into the rhythm and and they use it as a different tool, but it's deceiving um, to the general public. Everybody wants to um, look nice on the mitts, but use the mitt as what it's meant for. Accuracy, you know, a little bit of timing, uh, you know, you get a little more um, close with your trainer and he can work on specific things. But don't just go in there and try to be fast and look nice and pretty because in the, the day, fighting under the bright lights is gonna bring out the real deal. So you gotta spar, you gotta hit the heavy bag, all the redundant, um, all the redundant stuff that ain't changed over the last 120 some years. Subscribe to me at Boxing Fit Factory on YouTube. The website is boxingfitnessfactory.com.